Hey guys, uh, welcome to week 10 for this series. And as I said last week, the foot is still kind of worrisome. I, I can feel it being a lot better, and the rest is just making sure that we do proper amount of rest and recovery. Uh, what we're going to be doing is just all low impact exercises this week. Exercises like this include rock climbing, biking, swimming, stuff like that. We can still maintain our spear throws. Uh, but we're going to eliminate uh, most of the weightlifting. I'll probably still be able to do a little bit of core and some back stuff just because those don't really involve using my legs, but we're going to not do any of the carries. And then next week we have to start getting ready for the actual ribs. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, essentially we're just going to make sure that we're doing very low increase low impact, but I want to work up my running volume. I think it's the only thing that's really been hampering me consistently on these weeks is I've just not been running enough. My body just can't handle the amount of running I try doing because I do like 20 miles a week one week and then I do like 35 miles a week the next week. Um, once we get up to 30, I think I want to sit there for at least a flat month and then maybe we'll try going up from there up to 40. Because 40 is probably the max of exactly where I would like to be in the long term. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Today, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm probably gonna bike about 30 miles today just to kind of sit there for a while and get in the zone and then maybe we'll rock climb, stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, so I'm gonna get some of my stuff together, put the dog away and we'll start biking. All right, that was a really solid biking session. I wound up getting in a little over 22 miles. We're gonna call it 22 flat just for ease of keeping track of it. But around 75 minutes, my right quad was like, ooh, you're uh, <laughs> still going. <laughs> so yeah, that was a really good one. The next thing we have on the day is just stuff for uh, injury prevention. I think we're gonna invest in getting new shoes. These are the shoes I've had since December. You're supposed to start looking at replacing them every 300 miles. And I had these for four months before I started this series. So when you start looking at all that together, it seems like it might be good to get some shoes that just have better support so that I'm not at risk of injuring myself. And then after I eat dinner tonight, I'm definitely gonna go out and do some speed throws. So yeah. Alrighty, we got some new shoes, Sweeney 150 series. I was told these are very good for preventing injury, which I think is the main thing. Maybe after years of nice hard trail and road running, I can get shoes with slightly less support and cushion. But I think my fragile feet just need, need a little help. So yeah, we're about to head off though and do some work for on campus right now. All right, much later in the day now, pretty much just heading out to do some spear throws. Because what's the point of uh, being down with an injury that doesn't let you run, do heavy lifting, or work on your carries at all if you can't go out here and just spend all day on spear throws guilt-free? Whenever it starts getting dark, I plan on heading back in, and then we'll just make dinner and head to bed. You can tell I've been out here by a well while just by looking at this shirt. Oh my God. That was a phenomenal day of spear throws. I decided I just needed to go out there, see how uh, my accuracy's improved. So I did 50 throws and I hit 47 of them. I think the longest unbroken streak I had must have been around 20 throws. So that's phenomenal. 
that puts my uh, hit per accuracy at 94%, which if you remember from week one, when I went out there and did spear throws, I was at like 85% after warming up. That was 93% cold, right where we wanna be. That means every 20 races I should miss a spear throw about. We need to keep hammering it in, so that's like a staple. But yeah, it's really good. Then uh, after I did my 50, I just did some like long throws, focused more on like my release and keeping my wrist locked out. Just a lot of really good stuff, so. Yeah, it's a good opportunity. I haven't gotten to be outside for like two hours straight doing spears yet for a couple weeks now. But, you know, I've still been coming out here every week and I think it's showing on the throws now. So, yeah, I'm gonna go in, call it a good night. All right, just finished breakfast. You know, just trying to hit some good mileage on the bike, somewhere around 20. And then after that, we're gonna go and uh, do some rock climbing. All right guys, just finished working out for today. We biked 15 more miles, that brings us up to 37 miles so far this week. And then I just decided to climb. I think I climbed like 40, 45 minutes. And now we're gonna go get some food and rest. All right guys, Wednesday now. We're just about to head over to CrossFit right now, get a good workout in, and then later we'll uh, head back to the gym, do a little bit more biking. All right guys, just finished up at CrossFit. Um, not too shabby of a day. We did uh, 21 15 nines. So that's like a round where all the reps are 21, then another round where it's all 15, another round where it's nine. Um, and so we did kettlebell swings followed by chest to bar pull ups. So it's 21 kettlebell swings, 21 chest to bars, 15 kettlebells, so on. Um, and then immediately following that, uh, we did 9 15 21 back up, and that was over the bar burpees and pull-ups. So it was like nine burpees, nine pull-ups, 15 burpees, so on. Um, and you just did it all for time, so there's no rest in between. A little slower than I wanted, but I kind of burned my biceps out on the pull-ups because I don't have like a really smooth, like efficient pull-up method. I pretty much just do straight standard pull-ups, but yeah, it was really good. Took advantage of the fact that they have resistance bands and did a lot of re resistance band stuff with my foot and focus on other stuff like that. So overall, I think uh, it was pretty good. So that was a really good workout. We'll now move on to doing bikes after I get a quick bite to eat. 
But yeah, now we're just gonna quickly rep out like 15 to 20 miles on the bike and head back. All right guys, it's Thursday. The days are kind of just flying by. I know it seems like it's a little bit of a light week and hopefully we'll get back on track with some other stuff later on. Uh, but this week's all been about recovery. Uh, the good news is my foot, finally I got out of bed today without any foot pain, which is the first time and that's a good sign. Obviously it doesn't mean that we're over the injury and we're still gonna continue biking. Um, speaking of that, we have three more biking sessions to reach 100 miles, and we're at 52 right now, so that means we need to do 48 over the next few days. So today, hopefully I'm going to knock out 18, and they can just be 15, 15 Friday and Saturday. We're also going to climb, and we'll do a little bit of low impact weightlifting. Now today, because I'm saying all this, and it means I'm probably going to be in the gym a little bit longer, uh, I am going to get a protein shake beforehand just to make sure we have enough protein to make it through the entirety of the workout and then I'll eat a full meal afterwards. We can knock this out fast and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, back from the gym, just finished eating. Yeah, so I did 18 miles. We sat on like the reclining bike because uh, biking so much this week has been just destroying my butt. <laughs> Kind of hurt, but we've done 70 miles so far. Only 30 more before we hit our 100 mile cap a week. Um, and then I was gonna go climb, but turns out there's a kids group that has like summer camp going on around the campus, and they barged in after I finished one route. And so I was like, oh, I'll go swim. And then after 400 meters, the pool closed. So I wound up just going upstairs and doing an ab routine. And since I just swam even though the kids group had cleared out I didn't want to try climbing because all of my calluses would rip out. We'll have to hit it a little harder tomorrow. Just hanging out. The bud's wondering because he wants more soybeans. <laughs> he probably also wants to go outside so that's what we're gonna do. I gotta start getting food ready because we're making uh, black bean burgers tonight for dinner. But that's pretty much the full day of training. Hey guys I uh accidentally forgot the camera when I went climbing and biking today. My bad, but today's Friday. We um, went to CrossFit pretty early on. It was pretty much just Olympic lifting today. So just power clean, snatches, stuff like that. Uh, getting close to like one rep max. And then I went to the gym. I biked 11 miles today, so that puts us at 81 total. So tomorrow is just gonna be a nice long 19. Uh, and then I climbed for about two hours, so. Overall, it was pretty fine. Um, I wish I were showing a little more stuff, but again, it's just because it's so low impact. I'm just trying to be careful. Um, but I'm certain that we'll get a good chance to show some more interesting workouts next week as we start getting ready for Asheville and get cleaned up and ready for the day. All right, guys, it's officially Saturday. Finish out the week by capping off our 100 miles of biking. I've done 81 this week total meaning we got to put in a good hard 19 today and that'll be it for biking. We just climbed yesterday, so we're just going to do a little bit of a swim after that to get a little bit of interval work in. And then hopefully next week we're going to return to running with our new shoes, get everything settled up. Hey guys, just finished up leaving the gym now. So we did 19 miles on the bike. I was gonna go swim as well, but apparently the pool is closed for like another hour and a half and it's not worth me hanging around for a little bit longer. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the day. We're gonna wrap that up. So that's 100 miles of biking this week. I look forward to returning to running form next week and uh, getting ready for that. I also think that I'm, I've kind of leaned down enough, so now I need to start eating more calories and just keeping my diet lean. You know, I feel a little bad, virtually because I wanna, I like to train really hard. I like to sit down at the end of the week and know like I push myself really hard every single day. 
like last week I remember there was that hill workout where I about I about died and I wanted to do like a workout that that, that that was that hard every single day so it's a little bit of a disappointment for me to be going easy and I know it's also a disappointment for for you guys watching because there's not a lot of excitement of watching me show the end of my stationary bike ride um, but that's what low impact work is it's swimming and biking and uh, just taking care of yourself and knowing that this is to get to move the needle back so I can start improving and that kind of stuff just takes time ever since I've started Spartan racing I always kind of just the things are very clear on the course it's very cathartic kind of experience where you're out there and you're clear the only thing to do is to keep going forward you know stopping is not an option it's just what put one foot foot ahead and, and I want nothing more than to get back out there to that place that's clear but before I can do that I have to make sure that my body's capable of handling all this abuse I'm putting it through although it's we didn't do a lot of like sexy movements and stuff like that we still did CrossFit which was really good. We biked 100 miles. I did swim earlier this week, even though it was a pretty short one. I did a lot of climbing this week and we're only gonna do um, a little more coming up. Uh, luckily, since I've already qualified, I don't need to tone down my workouts as much as I normally would for Asheville. I'll keep the running a little light, but I think I'm still gonna stick with like my climbing and stuff like that because I'm not worried about qualifying. So I look forward to ramping it back up the three weeks after that are gonna all be about going from low mileage working up. I think by the end of the year, I wanna be running 50 miles a week, um, if not more. So that's what my overall goal is gonna be. I'm gonna go home and write out an action plan of this is how many miles I wanna add every single week and make it up to 50 by the end of the year. Seems pretty good. I'm gonna go home, relieve the dog, eat a really big meal, because uh, I need to start increasing my calorie count, and we'll call that a day. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week.